Dear brethren and friends, greetings, and I wish above all things that you are prospering in health and the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. It seems as if every day brings fresh news of violence in our world, even in our country and our neighborhoods. The signs of the times are real. Luke 21, 28 captures this well. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. This warning does not mean that we cannot pray for God to hold back the winds of strife. God's providence can still help us to reach the many souls that need salvation. The recent threats from the members of the far-right groups continue to drive fear in the hearts of the immigrant communities and decent law-abiding citizens of this nation. As members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and friends, we must take all precautions to protect ourselves and others from these intimidating behaviors. Be wise as serpents and harmless as doves is not only a biblical text, it must be taken seriously. Please protect yourself and loved ones at all costs. Here are a few things that you can do. One, pray without ceasing. Two, check the news for constant updates on the situation in the country. Three, do not go out alone if you can help it. Four, worship online if you live in an area that is earmarked for attack. Five, educate your children about the dangers. Six, be vigilant when you are out in the community. Seven, if you feel vulnerable, stay at home or call a friend or loved one to accompany you. Eight, do not be in areas that are somewhat remote or isolated. Nine, be alert to fake news. Check multiple sources for authenticity. 10. Be your brothers and sisters keepers and check on each other. 11. Pray for the police and other volunteers who are out in numbers keeping the peace. 12. If you have been a victim, please inform the police and let us know here at the SEC so that we can support you and your family. 13. Please talk to the young people in your home about safety measures since they have the tendency to be adventurous. And 14. Remember that if you feel worshiping in person during this period is dangerous for you and your family, please worship online. The God we serve is still large and in charge of this world, our lives and our destiny. We can trust him even in the crisis of this world. May God bless and keep you. May God make his face to shine upon you and grant you his peace and his protection now and forevermore. God bless you and stay safe.